Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers using Keras with TensorFlow. Our viewer asks, how can I use NumPy functions on a Keras tensor in the loss function? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer is building a neural network and wants to incorporate a NumPy function into their custom loss function. Specifically, they need to find nearest neighbors using the CKD tree functionality from SciPy. However, they're encountering an error when trying to convert their output tensor to a NumPy array using KEvil. This leads to an invalid argument error during model compilation. Alright guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To use NumPy functions on a Keras tensor within a loss function, we need to understand that Keras tensors are symbolic. This means we cannot directly convert them to NumPy arrays using KEval. Instead of converting the tensor to a NumPy array, we can leverage TensorFlow operations that are compatible with Keras. This allows us to perform similar computations without breaking the computational graph. For nearest neighbor calculations, we can use TensorFlow's built-in functions. For example, we can compute distances using TensorFlow operations and then find the nearest neighbors without converting to NumPy. Here's a modified version of your loss function that uses TensorFlow operations instead of NumPy. This way, we can avoid the invalid argument error. Finally, ensure that your model is compiled correctly with this new loss function. This approach will allow you to utilize the power of TensorFlow while working seamlessly with Keras. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Using NumPy functions directly on Keras tensors in a loss function isn't possible because they aren't implemented in TensorFlow or Theano. Tensors are algebraic variables, while NumPy arrays are just numbers. However, you can re-implement the desired NumPy function using Keras backend functions. This way, you can perform valid tensor operations without issues. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.